The woolly resistance of the salted snail is a unique tiny home built for an activist herbalist living in the mountains of North Carolina. It is a 12 foot long, 5,000 pound home with approximately 150 feet of floor space. It, like all carpenter owl tiny homes, was designed and built custom around the needs and wants of the homeowner. It was made out of natural wood, tongue oil, and sheep's wool to create an environment low in chemicals and allergens. A particularly unique aspect of this build is that the homeowner assisted from concept to finish. You enter the woolly from a second story, six foot by six foot deck. This high door was designed to make four interior level changes possible by limiting the number of stairs needed inside. You enter the cuddle loft, which is a space for living, relaxing, dancing, working, and of course cuddling. The cuddle loft has a curved back wall with flanking milky red stained glass window. The back wall and all the floors are made of eight species of scrap Indiana hardwood flooring. The stained glass is made by a company in Kokomo, Indiana. As you exit the cuddle loft, there is a walnut staircase that descends into the kitchen and access to a sleeping pod. The sleeping pod is a three season bed loft with a transparent polycarbonate ceiling and walls. The space will be closed during the winter to preserve heat and will likely turn into a summer greenhouse. Above the stairs, going down to the kitchen, is a multi-wall polycarbonate translucent skylight. In the kitchen, there is a space for a dwarf brand wood stove, a sink, a walnut countertop, a small water heater, and an escape hatch door used for loading in firewood, groceries, herbs, and anything too cumbersome to carry into the home through the front door. In the corner of the kitchen is a 30 inch by 30 inch shower with galvanized steel walls and copper piping. This is the only bathroom feature of the house as the homeowner wanted to have an outdoor composting toilet system. From the kitchen, we descend one more level into the apothecave. The apothecave is a sitting room where herbs, tinctures, ferments, and other medicines are stored. It also serves as one of the places the herbalist can have client consultation. Accessible from the apothecave is a storage space under the kitchen floor. The apothecave and the storage space give this tiny home as much usable living space as Carpenter Owl's own 16-foot tiny home snails away the fiddling snail. The exterior of the tiny home is made out of eastern cedar which was milled in southern Indiana. The shed roofs over the cuddle loft and sleeping pod are made out of reclaimed barn steel. The skylight and the sleeping pod roofs are made out of polycarbonate. The back of the home is where you can access the escape hatch or utilize the outdoor shower connection. Well, that is the Wooly Tour. If you're interested in the work of Carpenter Owl, you can follow us on Instagram or Facebook or contact us via email at owl at carpenterowl.com or by phone at 812-583-0803.